drama beat. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Work it out, work it out, work it out. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. Steady doing all the reps for me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I am Stephanie Mike. Thank you for clicking on my video. To my returning subscribers, I love you guys so much. Thank you for rocking with me. So if this is your first time, please do subscribe, stay a while, join the family, turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a single video. For you to click this video, that means you actually want to start your influencing journey or you're already on the path and you just want to learn some more tips and tricks. And that's what this video is about. So I'm going to be telling you guys how to actually become an influencer in 2023, like how to actually start growth tips and how to get like brand deal with a small following. Okay. So if you're interested in all that, please keep watching the video. So let's dive right into it. Okay. All right. First of all, I'd like to say I started my influencing journey this year, four months ago, actually. And you guys, I've come a long way in four months for someone that just started my influencing journey like i'm not big yet but i still get deals i still get collaboration now imagine when you take it really really serious and you're big you get my point I, I just want you guys to catch up with me i'm trying to be as simple and direct as possible okay so i've been creating content for years like over four years four five years yeah i've been creating content for a long time but i decided to take influencing seriously mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year january 2023 was when i decided okay i want to take my influencing journey seriously i have to be intentional about it actually it's not just about posting like you have to actually be intentional about the kind of content you put out so yeah i'm just going to give you guys some guidelines and some tips and tricks to follow to become an influencer if that is what you want to do the first thing i'm actually going to tell you is to just do it just do it you have to put yourself out there you can't say you want to be an influencer and you don't put out content you actually have to post start creating be creative with it like do you just do it that's the first thing you have to do you need to put yourself out there for you to be seen by the people that you want to be seen by next thing i'll tell you to have a vision you need to actually have a vision because this year let me tell you guys this year my vision and my goals for this year were so clear precise like it's i've achieved every month i achieved something out of my goal for the year and i make sure i work towards achieving one thing out of my list like every month i'm telling you i took a goal out of the way hopefully i start taking to a month yeah but just be clear about your vision what you want the kind of influencer you want to be the kind of brands you want to work with know your vision know the type of videos you want to put out so you don't lose sight of why you started in the first place and the kind of content you want to put out so have a vision if you need to write it out if you need to make a vision board save it on your phone note so you see it just have a vision you can fall back to and look on it's just more like a guideline to put you on the right path like okay girl this is where you're going to remember pass this way it's like a map roadmap so have a vision be clear be concise on what exactly you want to do so then the next thing to do is to pick a platform you need to pick a platform that you actually want to be seen on and you actually want to work on my first platform i started with was youtube and it has always been there like youtube is my baby i say this all the time this is my number one priority every time because this is actually what brings the the brand deals most times it's actually youtube that brings most of my brand deals so prioritize the platform you want pick a platform if it's tiktok you want to work on if it's instagram you want to work on if it's youtube you just Pick a platform that you know, oh, this is where I want to be seen. If it's Instagram, fine. You focus on your Instagram, create reels content, you create picture content. If it's TikTok, focus on TikTok. TikTok and Instagram kind of goes hand in hand because the content you post on Instagram, you can also actually post that on TikTok. But TikTok has its own audience. Like TikTok wants you to be raw. They like being relatable on TikTok. Instagram is more of aesthetics. Like it needs to be pretty. It needs to be aesthetically pleasing. You know, Instagram likes the pretty shit. Instagram like the pretty stuff. TikTok is like, we want you to be real. We want you to be relatable. And YouTube is just like, oh my God, it takes everything. YouTube needs you to be real, needs you to be relatable, needs you to be aesthetically pleasing at the same time with high quality sound, high quality video. It's just crazy. But yeah, pick the platform you want to work on. If you want to start your YouTube, then you start your YouTube career. Trust me, just put out videos and the kind of videos you put is what attract the kind of brand that comes to you. So put out the kind of videos of the kind of brand you want to attract if you want to attract like skincare brands you put out skincare video if you want to attract like um fashion brands bags clothing you put out bags and fashion videos you understand what i mean like you put out what you want to receive 
Okay, I hope that's very clear. So just pick a platform and then you start working towards that. This next tip, it's all in the head. It's a mindset. You have to move like you're already an influencer. Move like you got to film. You have audience waiting for you. I say, honey, I'm an influencer. I need to film right now. There are people expecting videos from me. I need to film. I was doing something really, really relaxing before i started filming this video but i was like my audience are waiting for me they need a video i need to film i'm an influencer i have 1 million followers you have to move like you actually have those number of followers that you envision to have move like they are, the entire world is waiting to see your video okay don't feel like oh anybody is watching because obviously when you start out at first it's not going to be easy you're not just going to get the views like that like honestly it's going to be hard it's going to test you but because you know where you're going to you have a vision board you have a goal you keep going so move like you're an influencer talk to the camera like there are millions of people watching behind that camera like you're you're influencing them to a product you're putting them on your you know you have an audience a lawyer following so move like you're already an influencer this is a tip like it's a mindset and if you work with this mindset it's going to be easy for you to like do it like because you're going to be like oh there are people that are going to hold me accountable i have to put out a video honey i need to film i'm an influencer please excuse me okay so next obviously when you're starting out you put out different content depending like my niche is fashion um fashion beauty lifestyle so i put out fashion content i put on i put out skincare and beauty content i also put out lifestyle content so you have to experiment with whatever niche you're you know moving around you don't need to be confined to one niche honestly like this is 2023 people are not confined to one niche anymore so you put out different various like videos of the kind of niche you're walking around and see the ones your audience respond to more the ones your audience love more so like you focus on that i'm not saying you just do only that niche you mix it up but you know that oh this is my number one priority it's skincare my audience love watching me do skincare so you make skincare your number one priority of the type of content you put out if your audience love watching you do fashion videos you make that a priority if they love watching you do vlogs and lifestyle videos you make that a priority okay so you need to put out different videos experiment and see what your audience love like check your analytics check like okay what is the age group of this audience what is the gender of this audience what is the um geography of this audience what do they like which video do they like more you know just always make sure you check the analytics and um insight of your videos whenever you post it just helps you know the kind of videos to post next and the kind of you know niche to focus down on get my point okay. You have to invest in putting out quality videos like it's not just about you just taking up your phone these days and filming gone are those days everybody now is filming high quality videos on the internet you can't be coming with your low quality video and expect people to leave watching a high quality video to watch a low quality video do you get what i mean so invest in a good phone an iphone use your back camera to film with higher quality invest in good lighting invest in a ring light or use natural lighting just make sure your video quality is crisp invest in a mic so your, your sound is this mic is inexpensive i've told you guys invest in good sound good visuals good lighting you know make sure everything is top notch buy a tripod you don't need to go for the expensive stuff that's what i'm telling you just invest in something that is going to make your life easy that's going to make your work easy so Good quality video also leads to more audience because honestly nobody wants to watch a low quality video so do that once you start you need to be consistent okay you need to be freaking consistent i know it's not easy i'm also struggling with consistency but guys am i not consistent am i not i post on instagram i post on tiktok i post on youtube i'm trying my best honey because this is the life i want this is what i want to do this is my calling this is where i make my money this is where i want to make more money from so you need to be consistent and show up you can't just post throughout this week and then next week you vanish always show up and be consistent like even if you don't need to post every day you can post like three times a week four times a week but just make sure okay they don't forget you because the internet is like moving fast if you don't post today some people might never remember that this person is actually an influencer or this person is a creator or this person posts okay so you need to be consistent which then brings me to my next point of you need to batch create as a content creator you need to know how to batch create like in a day you can set up the day for 
just content filming content alone you film your content from morning till evening depending on what you want to do you can film like five videos at once you can film four videos at once depending on your strength and your ability at that point you can film for all your platforms i do that i batch create most of my videos and then i just edit them throughout a week so you just pick out a day might be a day or two depending on your time your flexibility and make that day a content creation day that day is for content honey i'm working this is a job this is a full-time job okay so you need to treat it like one you show up every day also behind the scenes you're also working you're doing research you're editing so basically you're showing up every day and you're showing out at the same time so batch create it makes life easy and if you say you want to film every day you have the strength do you honey as long as you're posting the content that is the end goal so this next tip i'm going to give you is like really important I know yes you're trying to make content for the money or you're trying to be an influencer for the money but it's actually something you have to have a passion for like you need to have a passion for it because honey it will test you you'll be tired some days you will not be in the mood to film some days you'll be like is this even worth it i'm not getting the views or people are not even liking my video or brands are not even seeing me i'm not being seen it will test you you're just gonna be like is this really the life i want i've questioned myself so many times honey but I know what I want and I keep coming up. Like I'm allowed to have bad days. You're allowed to have bad days. Some days you're allowed to question yourself and be like, is this really what I want? Yes, but as long as you actually get up, do the freaking work and put out the content, then you're allowed to have your bad days. Okay, not just about the money because if it's the money, the money is not going to come. It's not going to come immediately. It's going to come, but it's not going to come immediately. Like you're going to invest more into it and you're just going to be like, am I just pouring in money here? I won't even lie to you. So yeah, try to have a passion, for, not try. You must have a passion for it, for you to stand the test of time. That's how I'm going to put it. So lastly, I'm going to tell you to cultivate a strong engagement habit with your audience. Like once you post, you notice you started getting a little bit of, you know, audience or, you know, interactions, please do try to interact with your audience. If they give you a compliment to the comment, do reply. You don't need to say too much. You can reply with emojis or you can just reply with thanks. Thanks, love. I really appreciate like engage with your audience. If they send you a DM, a sensible DM, respond. Okay. You're not Beyonce. Okay. The foundation of influencing is to have a community and you're trying to create a community. So if you don't respond to your audience, these people are just like, she's so snobbish. She's not responding to me. This, that, 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 you know how it is on the internet, but you actually need to communicate and engage with your audience. Cause this is where your money is going to come from. When brands are trying to reach out, they look at your engagement or oh, the amount of people commenting, the way you engage with your audience, the people responding to your content, your reach, you know, so just make sure you build a community and not just build a following two different things your numbers can go up and you don't have an engaging audience or you don't have a community that, are, that is actually loyal and rely on you brand want to work with an influencer that has a community has people that they can tell about their product and they'll be like oh okay i'll try this because of her i like her i follow her you get my point so try working on building an audience and not a following the numbers will come eventually as long as the content is worth it so everything i've said from the beginning of this video put it all together in one huge box and work with it and honey i promise you i've been doing this for like four months now and i've worked with like six brands already like i'm so happy most of them will come to you with a collaboration a gifted collaboration you're just starting out okay so you can start with that so you know how to handle and deal with brands it's not all brand that will just come to you and be like, oh, we're going to pay you because they don't know you. They're just beginning to trust you. They might just tell you, we want to give you a gift. Okay. Just create content with it for us and post. Do you understand? Accept that depending on the terms and condition, actually. And if it's your, um, your niche, your, you know, relating to what's, what you're doing on the internet, your content and all that, you can accept that work with them so that you build up your portfolio to show people that oh i've worked with social so, so brand this is the content i created for them you understand but before you start waiting for brands create your own content so when brands come to your page they see that oh this person is actually a content creator and has an audience and can influence our, our product to their audience i hope this is really clear so yeah and also do not just um build only one platform make sure as you're building one you're building the rest i know you're going to prioritize one focus on one but make sure you carry the rest along because when brands want to make deals most times they tell you oh we want you to post on this platform and this platform and that increase your payment the more platform you have the higher your payment is so don't just focus on one platform when you're building build up more platform build up your tiktok build up your instagram 
but make sure you're this is the prioritized one that you need to work on because if you work on the three you try to prioritize them at the same time i promise you you're going to break down but if you can do it then do you honey i promise you it's good if you can but if you can't then just focus on one so, so those are the steps i took or i'm taking in my influencing journey because i'm still on this journey only upward from here okay no going down no giving up no retreats no surrender so we're moving forward but i hope this my points and tips were able to help you in your influencing journey if you want to start just do it okay don't keep doubting yourself just do it if you enjoy this type of video and you want me to do um how to pitch to brand as a small influencer because <laughs> That alone is another is another thing to tackle. So we're going to tackle that in another video because some brands they reach out to you, some you have to reach out to. And I'll tell you guys the brands I've worked with in that video. So if you want to see that, do leave that down in the comments and I'll do that in my next video. But yeah, thank you for watching till the end. I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like my video, share the link to friends. And don't forget to check out the videos I put in the cards for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye guys. Yeah. Hey. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Yeah.